As we start this story, you may already have in your mind an image of the type of person who would become a heroin addict. Well, I want you to erase that stereotype completely because it's the only way we as a community can begin to understand what's happening here. I'm calling to report a possible heroin overdose. Five deaths in five weeks, and that's just in Kalamazoo. Um, I think I have an OD on my hand. <laughs> As overdose calls reach record highs, users are hitting rock bottom, and too many people, too many parents, are in the dark. For many young people, the problem starts here, with their parents' pills. Every day she'd come home from school, I'd search her purse, and it was like, okay, what drugs did you buy in school today? And these were prescription drugs that were given to her by her friends. Nancy King's daughter Marissa, a merit scholar and gifted writer, battled depression. In high school, she started self-medicating. I got a Facebook message from a friend of hers that I didn't know, and the message basically said, your daughter's a heroin addict. If you don't do something, she's gonna die. Captain David Boyson of the Kalamazoo Valley Enforcement Team says it's an all too common story. Most young people that we see, they never thought they'd be a heroin addict. Heroin is an opioid, a painkiller, and when the pills run out, young people who never dreamed of touching it desperately turn to it. The last person I'm aware, I'm aware of who overdosed, a 20-year-old from a middle-class family, both good working parents, who became addicted after a surgery at the age of 16. It is not who you think it is. It could have been your kid. And what's on the streets now is deadly. Recent drug raids are turning up some scary stuff. This pinkish heroin is likely laced with fentanyl, leading many users to die with needles still in their arms. Other batches are just ridiculously pure. We've had several that were 97, 98% pure heroin. If you see purity that high, there's quite a bit of heroin in the community. It's leading to overdoses all over the map. 911, where's emergency? My emergency is in Marshall, Michigan. Homer, Michigan. Kalamazoo. We compiled the data in Kalamazoo and Calhoun counties to show you the scope of the problem in just the first six weeks of 2016. Overdoses happening at double, even triple, what's normal. And there are likely many more unreported. When you see an increase in heroin use in a county, you're going to see a crime increase, especially with your larcenies and property crimes. So it really affects all of us. Casual pill popping, a slow spiral into syringes, ending with the call you never want to get. I had to say goodbye to my daughter in a body bag. It's a serious problem. Do you think that most parents are blind to what's happening? Yes. We have a lot more to get to in this special series. I haven't quit since my 15th birthday. A current heroin user tells us just how easily she can get the drug. Could your kids order heroin just as quickly as a pizza? Well, they're out there all day doing deliveries. Don't miss part two of Young Users tonight at 11. For now, in studio, Alex Jokic, News Channel 3. Good evening. A little baggie like this one holds about 10 hits of heroin. That's 10 possible overdoses, 10 possible deaths, and it's just a phone call away. It's the easiest thing in the world to get. Mary would know. She shot up two hours ago, just like she has every morning for the last eight years. I haven't quit since my 15th birthday. And after the first, first time I got sick, then I had to have it. And she says she can get it delivered anytime, anywhere, in... You know, probably five minutes. The interview prompted this. My photographer and I going undercover with the Kalamazoo Valley Enforcement Team as one of their informants hit the street to buy heroin. Hello. What's up, man? Hey, I'm downtown. They were conducting surveillance to eventually bust the dealers. We were timing the deals. And we timed out something else, too. Hi, I'd like to order a large cheese pizza, please. The clock starts as the orders are placed. It's going to take me probably about five, ten minutes to get down there. And ends when they arrive. Heroin delivery number one happens in about eight and a half minutes. 
Oh, where is it, man? Number two, in just over 14. How long till you're here? And the last one, our driver gets hung up on his delivery route. It takes 46 minutes. And with that, we have three grams of heroin long before a single cheese pizza. Thank you. Surprised? No. Unfortunately, no. We're halfway between Detroit and Chicago. Certainly the dealers um, are looking for a customer base, and in some of these kids um, that are 18, 19, 20, they're going to be heroin users for a long time. KVET eventually busts some street-level dealers like the ones we saw. But the goal is to take down the big guys. Here you can see them raiding two drug houses in Kalamazoo after tracking some of the heroin that's killing people back to these distributors. The big picture solution to the local heroin problem, unfortunately, is not simple. Think of it like a big Rubik's cube. Three quarters of young users start with prescription narcotics. If they can't get a prescription, they're going to go to the street in one way or another. People are dying left and right right now. We're not able to help people if we can't keep them alive. We're trying to go after those that are bringing the heroin into our community. We're having to reteach doctors about prescribing. So some doctors are cutting back, but when opioid addicts now can't get pills, where do they turn? Heroin. And this puzzle of people keeps twisting. We have a long, long road ahead. When Nancy King's daughter Marissa died of a heroin overdose, she vowed to give the community the resources she never had. She started a local chapter of Families Against Narcotics, is distributing thousands of Narcan kits, which are overdose reversers, to families and first responders, and is encouraging parents to open their eyes. We can't just assume that they know better. We can't just assume that they're not vulnerable to the risk of, of using. Just about every child in every community ha is at risk. Take it from a girl who played with fire and got burned out. Nothing good comes of uh, heroin use at all. Nothing, it's, it's the devil's drug. If you want any happiness, don't do it. Because there will be none. If you'd like to rewatch these reports with your kids, both parts of this special series are now up online at WWMT.com. We've also posted links with more information about heroin and the local resources that are available. In Kalamazoo, Alex Jokic, News Channel 3.